I got myself a uh, new feed bunk, as you can see, but they didn't put it together for me. So I guess I gotta do that. Six by four, two by eight, two by twelves, um, 20 footers. That one is not, that's only six foot. And that's a 16 foot two by eight. And that's a 12 foot six by four. That's treated, the rest is not. And if you ever build one, this is one of the best things you can do is put a metal corner in it. Put these right on the corner and bolt it in. That'll help a lot. But here's what we got going on the feed bunk. I really haven't done anything. Yesterday I went to the cattle sale, so I really didn't work on this at all. Just pretty much laid it out like this and that's it. I've been trying to decide how tall I'm gonna make it with these legs. A normal feed bunk that you buy would probably be about 30 inches, I think. And I think that's too tall for these yearlings. I'm, these are, I'm making a bunk for my heifers that I kept back. Anyway, I didn't want them uh, too tall. I didn't think that they could reach very good, especially with two by 12 sides. And I didn't want it too short because they'll end up standing in it. You don't want that either. Make it 26. So that's what I'm gonna do. That's, we'll bolt it all together. We've had some other bunks that just had like a, a bolt that came over, went through the floor, came up and just was a hook and went over the edge. To, and that held the, held the bottom. It went down through, there was a two by four on the bottom underneath that ran across. And it was just like a U-bolt, but it just it just hooked over about that far. Now, they work, but eventually they just pull the walls in. The walls start, you know, so I didn't like that either. I'll probably just go with a strap, piece of strap iron, bolt it to the wall and go under and up the other side. And that'll hold the bottom up. kind of try to stagger the holes in the in the post a little so they're not in the same spot and then I just use 3 8 by 10 carriage bolts through there some guys make them out of pressure treated all the way I don't know. I don't know if I like the idea of a meeting out of a pressure treated bunk, but the only thing I bought that was pressure treated was the post. The rest of it's just construction grade lumber. So yeah, then we'll repeat it on the other side, and then we'll have two of them built. There we go. Two. I don't know what you call them, saddles? I don't know. All right, here's how we're coming. So now I'm just here trying to figure out how much I want hanging out at the end. That's four foot, and I think that's too much. I think that's too much hanging out the end. I don't know. This over here is 40 inches. This looks better, this is still a lot. I mean, this is a 20 foot bunk, so. Some guys put three legs in, they'll put one in the middle. And I don't see how you can't keep it from doing the teeter-totter when you, when you do that. So, yeah, I'm not putting three legs in. We'll just do two. Okay, how's that? How's that look? That's not too much of an overhang. Yeah. So that's how tall it's gonna be. That's gonna be, like I said, that should be about 26 inches. The only problem I got with this lumber is they got staples all over in it. Staples everywhere. What they got a staple so much? Here's a staple. I want to pull all them out. There's a staple. There's a staple. There's one out here. My luck, they'll eat them damn things somehow. So I want to get them, get them out of there. All right. 
yeah, it's it's like 11 o'clock today, no warning. Oops, and it's just starting to snow. I don't know if you can see it coming down at all. Just starting, we're supposed to get a foot, so we'll see. Well, there it is, pretty much done. All I gotta do is cut off some of these long bolts yet, and I'm gonna get a piece of strap to go right over here from from here under the bottom and up the other side a little bit and I think we'll be done. I just went and got a piece of strap from the from my welding shop. We'll see if we get that to slide on there. Yep. There's that's what we'll do. Just like that. I'll drill a couple holes up here on each end and then bolt it on. There's the finished bunk. We got it all put together. There's that strap I put in the middle. Go under the, under the middle and holds the floor up there. Um, the dimensions are 20 foot by, it's 44 inches to the outside of the post. So if you wanna build your own, it's you need to make your two by eights 44 inches long on the bottom there and cut your post, whatever. I mean, I cut them 28. You can make them 26, but it depends on how high you want your bunk, I guess, is how long you want your post. Um, in it, I've got eight carriage bolts, three eighths by 10. I've got eight carriage bolts, three eighths by six. I've got 16 three eighths by twos here in the corners. And in the middle there, I put I put two and a half inch, three eighths bolts going through there because I thought the twos were just a little short. But if you don't do anything, at least put the corners on because that really stiffens up a, a bunk. We always put these ready rods in when we had wooden bunks. I mean, we haven't had a wooden bunk in years. This is the first one I since I was probably a teenager. But anyway, if you don't do anything, always put the corners on. That really stiffens up a bunk. Probably should put a strap under the under the ends here. The only thing holding the floor up here is just a few nails going up into the end wall. And I didn't think of that until a little bit ago, putting that strap under the ends. But otherwise, there you go, that's a good bunk. Price, I got 270, 274 into the lumber. And uh, I was planning on making a 16 foot bunk, but for $25, I could have got 20 foot um, two by 12s. They're like five bucks a piece difference from 16 foot to 20. So I went and got the 20s. It cost me $25 total to make it 20 instead of 16. So that's what I did. So 274 plus whatever the bolts would cost you. And those end caps or the, the corners. So, and this strap. So there you go. I'd put it out today, but we're supposed to get a foot of snow and I don't wanna I don't wanna scoop out a brand new bunk tomorrow, so we'll wait. Later.